Hello. Uh, let's see. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Let me just turn on subtitles. And uh, I should be audible. I should be streaming, and the game should be audible. So, are you all ready for some dialogue? Because there's going to be dialogue. There's going to be so much dialogue. Not only do I want to showcase conversations with some people, I, we are going to learn a bunch of insults today. I'm looking for fun. Seen any? Yikes! Oh, you almost scared me to death! This is Rob Paulson again. Oh, never mind. Hey, what did you say your name was again? And here's a running gag that I have used for years. Call me Squinky. Okay, Squinky. Who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm over here. Huh? Oh. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck! What amuses me is that in spite of being blind as a bat, he correctly identifies Guybrush as looking more like a flooring inspector than a pirate. Actually, now that I have seen some of the connections, I can't help but wonder if Guybrush was faintly inspired by Steed Bonnet. He has that hairstyle. Anyway, let's go stand out in the forest and get attacked by pirates. In order to be attacked by a pirate, you have to be in front of them. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. Which isn't always easy. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor after all? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. Oh, yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Yikes, nice move. I like that they recorded a version of that that has no confidence whatsoever. A pirate can be dangerous to your health. I also like the palette swap on some of these hairstyles. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah. Now that you mention it, they do. It's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, we'll be hearing a lot of that. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. A lot of these are very good comebacks. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Ah, uh, let's see. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. 
And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Uncle! Uncle! Other comebacks are less good, but still classic. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. Either way, we're picking up, uh, insults at a rapid rate. Die. That's it, there's quite a lot of them. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? It always feels nice when we actually have the comeback for an, arg for an argument. Uh, insult. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, yeah? Mm. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You and we lose. Never learn them. But we're on the brink of being able to win. Yikes, nice move. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. Now, one thing we could start doing is skipping lines. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Uh, they bound the skip line button to the period key because the period key ends a sentence. I think that's very clever. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. I've heard you were a contemptible snake. Oh well. Oh yeah? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Heck, two new insults. That's good. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Yikes, nice move. Well, we're starting to get there. Our intensive training is paying off. Gradually. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Let's see. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Well, no retort for that yet. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Or that one. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Wow, this guy must just be starting out. I give up, you win. Everybody starts somewhere. Also notice that there's no Ay, oh, this better uh, be important. There's no consequences. Whatsoever. You win, you lose, hey, you just move on. Streetwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh yeah. Wow, that's proving to be the ultimate insult. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Oh. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as a janitor after all. 
I give up. You win. This is going quite briskly. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Uh, let's see. Let's not start with that one. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. I'm shaking, I'm shaking! Maybe he'll have a retort to the dog thing. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I am rubber, you are glue! No. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I am rubber, you are glue! Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Almost. I feel almost good enough to fight the sword master. I really just want to retort to that dog thing. Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Come on. He must have taught you everything you know. Yes. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me. And nobody ever will. And a new insult. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. You're no match for my brains, Two. you fool. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I love that they recorded no confidence versions of every retort, where you can audibly hear Guybrush going, Ah, uh, wait, no, this isn't right, is it? Audibly hear. Yes. That's traditional. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Where you can visually hear Guybrush. No, it doesn't work. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Well, let's, uh... You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Hmm. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, I'm shaken. Drat. I'm shaken. You know, these guys in the checkerboard uh, bandanas are really bad at this, actually. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, yeah? Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. I actually wonder vaguely if the uh, various types of pirates mean anything. My name? I have no idea, even after all this time playing the game. Uh... You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Nobody's ever drawn blood. Damn, I don't have that one. Nobody ever will. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. So we rally. Um, do I have anything? No. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor after all? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey! Yeah, I, uh, getting those last couple retorts are what take up the most time.
Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Ding. You have the manners of a beggar. He must have taught you everything you know. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. We are picking up a couple more new ones, which means uh, we're probably going to keep going. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Oh, I give up. You win. Go over and get in front of this dude. Whoop. Get behind this dude. Eh, let's just move up here. Dun, dun, dun. What you be wanting, yes? My name. All right, into it. Ah. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. You make me want to puke. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I am rubber. You are glue. Well, vague French accent on that one. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as janitor, after all. Uncle! Uncle! Alright, we are almost there. I'm sure of it. I'm doubtful of it. What you be wanting, you? Oh, it's one of these. My name? Oh, you make me want to puke. I am rubber. You are glue. Yeah, I don't feel like we're going to get anything useful out of these uh, checkerboard helmet uh, headband guys. You have the manners of a beggar. I am rubber. Yeah. Hmm. This is the first time I've noticed an observable difference. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. They must have taught you everything you know. Oh. You make me want to... Oh, of course. You run that fast? You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword, master. I probably am at this point, to be honest. But there's always the risk of getting it wrong. I just don't feel comfortable until I've got them all. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous. Oh, hey, a guy with a tricorn hat. That's the first time you've seen that. My name is Guy. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. <laughs> Nobody's ever drawn blood from me. You run that fast? All right, do we have anything else we don't know? I think that may be it. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I am rubber. You are glue. 
That may be enough that I'm comfortable going to fight the Swordmaster. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh yeah? Wow! You're good enough to fight the Swordmaster! Now the question is, where's the Swordmaster? We could check this island out here. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Look, okay, I'll restroom, souvenirs. Let's check the place out. I do love that slide whistle. I would love that slide whistle. It's the whole tune thing. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry, but that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal wax, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business. And since then, I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to one what attacked me when I was just a child and left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? When you say hello and accidentally ding, like, maximum reputation and unlock the entire backstory. Holy crap. I'm a pirate, Cannonball Head. Who are you? My name's Meat Hook, and I think you've got a little attitude problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a cannonball head than a ponytail. <laughs> I meant to call you Chrome Dome. Why you? Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we we should really be on like good terms with him. So let's at least apologize. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? I'm Bobbin Threadbear. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Okay, I guess we are gonna insult him some more. Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook, and you still have a little attitude problem. Okay, let's just, you know, apologize I'm like a nice sorry. person. I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a cannonball head than a ponytail. Ha 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 Hey, you've got a pretty good sense of humor. That's debatable. Uh, say something really funny. Ha. God, you can just keep going in on him, but. Yes, please show me, Mr. Meat. <laughs> Watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? I got a whole routine, but I don't have the time to do it all right now. Maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. But until then, I'm a very busy man, so... Whoops, I just realized that this is the wrong house. Oh, okay. Have a nice time on Melee Island. Say goodbye, Roger. Goodbye, Roger! Huh. Well, that was oddly specific. But he's not the Swordmaster.
Not sure how he'd hold it. Specialized grip? Wow! It works both ways! That's some chicken! A bi-directional pulley. What will they think of next? A pulley. A pulley. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I wonder if that has anything to do with the word pullet. I am maybe overthinking the rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Well, uh, back into town. Let's look around. We could talk around in the bar a bit. There's one pirate in here we haven't talked to. Ahoy there, stranger! New in town? My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupid. Well, what's your My name is Mancomb Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? That's a very deft change of subject. I've come seeking my fortune. Oh, you have, have you? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. Obviously, this is meant to be the first guy you talk to. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Uh-oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. I said I love that he trashes your name and immediately reveals his own name to be slightly more goofy. Hey, what happens if we give this t-shirt to the, uh, oh, we can't. Seems like it's always 10 o'clock on this island. Whoops. Cut off. Anyway, in here... Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? We had this dialogue option. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm, I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. I'll be right back. He'll hike over there as many times as you damn well tell him to. That said, let's get after him. I used to think you had to use the weird teleporting doors, but uh, you can just walk around the corner. It's not like he stops and checks. This is why you always check to see if you're being followed by weird pirates. That's a valuable life lesson you won't hear anywhere else. See, he hits that fork and vanishes. And then he goes through the maze. Uh -huh. Danger. Open ravine. Ah, weird little hitch there.
And here's the surprisingly picturesque house of the Swordmaster. Who is doing... Just stay back here and eavesdrop. Doing something. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. No. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. I mean, really, what are the odds of him being... Mm. What is she doing? She looks like she's meditating. Okay. If you say so. Well, here we go. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission? Which I surely didn't give you. Yeah, she's just rotating in place. I guess that's a kind of meditation. Gyromancy. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. Only once have I met such a coward. The Swordmaster uses completely different insults. She uses them relentlessly, meaning you don't get a chance to insult her. And they all have, uh, interesting different responses. He must have taught you everything you know. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. So you got that job as a janitor after all. There are no clever moves that can help you now. Mm. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Oh. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Yeah. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. Nice. I think I'll keep it in mint condition. It might be worth something someday. Guybrush has that collector's spirit. And of course you can just kind of stroll off to the... No, I guess you have to take the long way. Only the uh, shopkeeper gets to use that path. It's a special fuck-off path. So, that's all three trials. We are now qualified to be a pirate. Uh, can I... Ooh, that's refreshing. Nope, they both have special use conditions. Like, they interrupt the use command to play their own little quip, as opposed to use on. Alright, it's back to town we go. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? 
The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Oh. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So this is why if you do the uh, treasure thing last, there's a much different scene here on the docks. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. Yeah. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Well, at least he's polite. I'll save you, Elaine. I promise. Right. Obviously, the thing to do is to get a ship and a crew together and go rescue her. That's the pirate way. Let's see if the pirate... <laughs> <laughs> Where are all the pirates? The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> what can I do to save her? You must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stands you shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Cool. Get me a drink. Get your own drink. Okay. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> well. First off, let's uh, tidy up a bit. Grab all these mugs. <laughs> mug, 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 <laughs> mug, mug. That's a lot of mugs. Let's see. Well, we know somebody who wants to go on a long sea voyage. Any sign of the governor? None. As I said, I fear we've seen the last of her. Oh well. And notice that the random wandering pirates have stopped showing up. I think they stopped showing up the moment you beat the Swordmaster. It took me a while to figure out the chicken thing, too. A lot of this game took me a long time to figure out because it was one of my very first point-and-click adventure games.
I hadn't fully acclimated to the logic it uses. Well, the logic most of the genre uses. There are some weird, semi-realistic games. I don't tend to play those. I told you, I don't have the time to show you any more tattoo tricks. The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible! What are we going to do? We become overcome with despair and just give up? Well, that's one solution. Wait! Oh, no. We could get a ship and a crew and go rescue her! What? Brilliant! Now, if we only had a captain... Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! Ha ha ha! Oh! Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? I respect how long that laughter went on. Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. If I could walk that way, I would... There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Maybe I should have prepared first. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Touch the beast inside sounds like a marketing campaign. Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. Do we have the guts? We have the guts. I love how your inventory verbs change here. Let's feel the murderous winged devil. I don't believe it! Squishy, squishy. You are a brave man after all! You faced the beast I've feared all these years! You had the guts to do what I never could! I feel like such a coward! Your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 decks. Oh, come on, Meat Hook. You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a talking tattoo. You can swab my decks anytime. Really? <laughs> sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, occasionally I have to mute the mic to take a drink of water because I really don't want to just... Take a big gulp of water into the microphone. And if I don't drink water, my throat will dry out and I'll sound like a cartoon frog instead of a cartoon squirrel.
That said, it's not bumping the mic. It's a little switch on my, uh, microphone wire that turns the microphone on and off. I apologize if it's that jarring. Meanwhile, having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. In case there was doubt. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. That's probably somebody's fetish. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye aye, Captain. For one thing, I don't think LeChuck knows how deep the Melee Island docks are, because there's no way that was 20 feet. For seconds, I think Mr. Threepwood will not be a problem is the least correct sentence in the entire series. And I'm including some of the shit Guybrush says. Anyway, who else is uh, bold enough, strong enough to rescue the mayor? Let's go check with our newest acquaintance. Mayor, Governor. I just give her a demotion. I feel bad about that. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? Also, I like her earrings. The Governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Yeah, she's probably going to regret this. All right, before we do anything else, let's uh actually go account for a ship. Because otherwise a bunch of people are going to show up at the dock and be like, Hey, what the hell, Guybrush? Are we going to row there? Just stands. Howdy! I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels. And I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big? Little? Fast? Slow? You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. 
I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. Actually, I think Monkey Island 1 is the least obnoxious his coat ever looks. It gets progressively more so over time. What are you interested in looking at today? Huh. That spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. Of course it does. It's mine. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? Oh, well. I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. I could walk that? No. This here is the famous Sea Monkey. The only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary Secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their oh. fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. <laughs> anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. Your money. Money is no object. Well, it is with me. How much you got? All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. Oh. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Well, no more than a hundred odd pieces of eight. Look. This is a very reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance. All right, maybe we can get some credit. Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Mm. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. No, I do not. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I tell you, I got a feeling you're going to leave here today with a new previously owned vessel. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. We can look at lots of other ships, but this is the only one Guybrush will ever be able to afford. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. How the hell does he do that? Guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Stan's mouth. Man. Let's go see about credit.
Excuse me, but do... Now it's only you again. I told you there was only one in existence. Now get lost. Okay, well, we're not getting any help out of him. How about these guys? Are you guys gonna... Did you know the governor's been kidnapped? Err... Uh... Well, yes, we knew about that. I'm going after those immaterial authority figure nappers. Are you with me? Uh... Well... The governor can probably take care of herself. And we are sort of busy here. Yeah... And we've got the circus to think of. We've got to find the elephant. And get rid of these minutes! I'm sorry. We simply can't go at this time. Okay. Well, aside from... Oh, wait. We know our purpose now. Our purpose is to go find the governor. Let's check in with the voodoo lady. Hey! I'm back and I'm ready to know more about the future. Yikes. So, you have returned to learn future. Yes, I must go after the governor. I see you with some others willing to help in your cause. I really hate that flashing. It makes me see spots. Quiet. I am getting another vision. You must... Must what? You must go to Monkey Island. Once there, you will search for the ghost pirate, LeChuck. He hides deep, deep beneath Monkey Island. There is only one thing powerful enough to destroy LeChuck. What? It's an ancient root. Once prepared, the root can destroy a ghost with one touch. Yeah! I'm getting more. More vision. Spill it! I see the cannibals that live on the island. They... are helping you. Or eating you. I can't tell. The vision isn't coming in clear anymore. Great. Now go. And find the one that loves you. But be warned. Don't worry, I'll watch out for LeChuck. Not of LeChuck, of yourself. What you will find out about yourself and your world. It will terrify you. I'm not entirely sure what she means. Unless she's alluding to some events in Monkey Island too. But, we'll blow up that bridge when we come to it. Also great, they are helping you or eating you. That's... very useful to know. Stan's previously owned vessels. I won't shut up until I've made you a deal, Stan. When you set sail for good value, all winds blow towards Stan's. Warning. Contains strong magnet which may interfere with other navigational equipment. Hmm. Hey! Where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. Well, let's ask for a favor. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are? I, uh, you got a job? To be honest, sir, I am not employed. Oh, thank you for telling me that. I respect your honesty. But I didn't get to be 83 by being no jackass. No job, no credit. <laughs> Come back when you got one! Oh, well, uh... See you on. I think I'd just like to browse. Oh, be my guest, fancy pants. Uh, let's just duck out and come back in.
Hey, we... Are there, fancy pants? We, we got a job. I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You got yourself a job, finally, huh? Yes, in the last five minutes. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Okay, uh, I think I can remember that. I may have to watch it another time. I think it was, uh, one left... Let's see. Right till it was down... What did you say your occupation was? I'm an acrobat with a traveling circus. You're one of them fettuccine brothers? Where's your silly accent? And where are your silly slippers? Come back when you got a job in a credible business. Oh. Okay, let's try and remember it this time. One left, three right, two left, four right. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. I'll be right back. And don't touch anything! We are gonna touch something. Let's see. Pull one. Push. Until it's down. Pull until it's up. And then make a circle. Hmm. There's nothing in here but this note. I, the good and honorable storekeeper, do hereby take liability for the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. Nice! We now effectively have 5,000 bucks to work with. Let's go see if we can buy a ship. But first, there's one other person on this island who might potentially... Hello, who are you? I don't see anything special about it. May I help you? I'm here to loot the governor's mansion. And do you have reservations, sir? Several. Why, yes, I do have reservations. And what name would they be under... Ah, I think it's that first one there on top of the list. Nice try, but we're booked solid for the next five hours. Mm, but I might be able to squeeze you in around the two o'clock hour. Would that be okay? No thanks, I've got a ship to catch. Next time, call ahead. Well, I guess we don't have reservations. Nope, I'm not going to get a parrot. I'm going to get an Otis. The governor's been kidnapped! What? Here, look at this note. They kidnapped the governor? That really makes me mad. Oh, I feel like kicking someone. Hmm. I wonder if she left her place unlocked. Yeah, sorry, it's backlogged. If I let you out, would you join my crew? Sure! Of course! To my emancipator, I shall be eternally indebted. Until then, I pace. That is a good series of lines. Happily, we have all the tools to let him out. Let's do that before we get back to the ship business.
Now, as you may remember, or may not remember, because it happened yesterday or several hours ago, depending on time scales, <laughs> it was mentioned that Grog eats straight through metal. <laughs> And we've been authorized to get ourselves a drink. Let's get ourselves a drink. This stuff is eating right through the mug. And it will do that, too. <laughs> It'll eat straight through the mug. It'll eat straight through several mugs, actually. So we gotta hurry. And just keep pouring it from mug to mug. That's why they give you four, just in case. I bet this will come in handy. Uh. And now we can heroically save this rat. Run free, little rat. Oh, great. Just great. Save the rat and leave me in here to rot. You're a real humanitarian, buddy. I guess my lawyer was right. I should have squealed. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do it right this time. Sadly, the rat never pairs up with the other rat. You never see that rat again. It's just a one-off gag if you do something really goofy. But doing something really goofy is what I'm good at, so... <laughs> oh hey, somebody reset the mugs. Isn't that nice of them? Of course, this will now be a little bit more difficult, because the mugs are separated in my inventory. <laughs> But it was worth it. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Do not want to lose time by doing that. Hike, 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 hike. Now those mugs will melt away until they're basically just a uh, hunk of tin. And when they're basically just a hunk of tin, you can't pour the grog out of them. Which is why I preemptively pour from mug to mug. Hey, great! A d drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. Sucker! <laughs> but... Do we still have a deal? I'm sure he'll be back. He gave me his word as a pirate. Everyone knows that pirates are honest and trustworthy people. Enough messing around, let's go get a ship. Incidentally, yeah, you only need three people to crew your ship, much like you only needed to do three trials to become a pirate. Uh, there's a real structure of three in a lot of LucasArts adventure games and a lot of adventure games since. Uh, Telltale Games, for example used to basically give you three tasks, and then an interlude, and then three more tasks, and then the end of the episode. I'm not sure why game designers do it like that. I suspect it's so, um... So the player doesn't get overwhelmed. Like, if you think back to King's Quest 1, we also had three tasks to finish. But 
they were spread out all over a large game world with no real idea of where to go. So it's possible people got overwhelmed by the open worldliness of it. Happily, uh, the game industry seems to have matured past that, but there are still people who get really overwhelmed Hi. by multiple goals. Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. I'm sure I could build that theory out further. What else can I show you? But I'm not sure why I would. It's just, you know, a psychological thing I've noticed. Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hmm. <laughs> Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? Let's talk about money. Your money. Don't worry, Stan. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course! Your credit's always good at Stan's. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce? Bankruptcy? Chronic gambling mishaps? I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm gonna be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. Can you lose your jacket? Can I have your jacket? Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. What are the odds of that? There's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Eh, we're good. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? Aren't racks and pinions type of feathers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. It's barely floating now! There's more! Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? Okay, that one's just useless. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light! I can understand that, sure. Of course... Mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think a speedometer is fine. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? Who needs an elevator on a boat? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more! Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Uh... I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, 
Barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Yes, yes you did. Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Uh, let's make him another offer. Great! How much? Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it. But not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second! Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am! Now, where were we? Oh yeah! You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? I'd like to make you an offer. Gr All right, let's see if he's, we've worked him down yet. All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Everything I know about used whatever sales, I learned from Stan. It may not look like much, but it's mine. Honestly, I sort of wonder if I could sell used whatever's based purely on the stand method. Except I feel like it might be a little out of date. Well, we have a ship. We have a crew. Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. I don't think there's ten people on this island. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek. Aerodynamic. A buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. Catch you later. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. Enjoy. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. Oh boy. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stans! Thanks, Stan. Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Have you come to be on my crew? Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? 
Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You never did know when to use that one. So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Welcome to part two of Monkey Island. Yes, that was all chapter one of four. Through the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh... I'm doomed. Well, you could, you know, relax and enjoy the cruise, but that's not the Guybrush way. There's a lot to look around on our new boat. Let's check the place out. It seems to be locked up tight. Okay, let's not check the place out. Let's check the chest out. What's in the chest? It looks like an empty chest. It's empty. Good. Good. Death drawer? There's an old dusty book inside. Oh, thank God. Something we can interact with. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Interesting. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. Very interesting. So something they cooked made them pass out, and then they found Monkey Island. Oh, 
Let's check the ship. Well, here's our crew. What a bunch of lazy pigs. What was that? Nothing. I hear the weather's pretty nice over by Monkey Island. Nice dry guy brush, but no banana. I'm gonna give you mutineers five seconds to come to your senses. Then, I'm gonna start kicking some butt. Excuse me, Guybrush. Does the word keelhaul mean anything to you? Keelhaul. To haul under the keel of a ship as punishment or torture. I see your point. Thanks. Hmm. All right, then. Well, it's clear we're getting no help from them. What a fine-looking flag. Shivers me timbers just looking at it. Doink. We don't really need to fly a pirate flag right now. Not like we're doing any piracy. Oh, that's back inside. How about down here? Well, it's nice and leaky down here. That's a good sign for a boat, right? It's a giant piece of rope. There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. I wonder how you denote the fineness of a wine. I'm no enologist, but judging from the deep red color, this is a very fine wine. Okay, the redness. They're just old rusty chests. It's just an old rusty chest. Anything in it? It's rusted shut. No. They're just old rusty trunks. They look like kegs of gunpowder. Ooh, gunpowder. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. Okay. I'm not used to him being exactly as enthusiastic as I am. I really shouldn't be surprised, though. Uh, let's see. It's about the same size as my head. Well, that says something. Ooh. Mmm. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. Mmm. I love. Like okay. Uh, anything in here? Great! A toy prize inside. Ooh, toy. This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. Huh. Where did I get in a cereal box? It's a small key with a finely okay. engraved monkey on it. Well, um... We have encountered a locked door here on the ship. Another goddamn chest. Boat is full of chests. Feel like I'm taking the Dragon Warrior tour. It looks like a very heavy metal chest. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. It's too heavy to carry anywhere else. What a bait and switch. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick, four leaves of mint, one human skull, pressed, one squirt squid ink, two pints monkey blood, mmm, one live chicken, three ounces brimstone, one or more of the following, pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow eight, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. I think we can make some substitutions here.
Let's head down to the kitchen and make ourselves a snack. Uh, some cinnamon sticks. I love cinnamon. Let's see, some monkey blood, quote unquote. That should be enough. Uh, some brimstone. The yellow eight and BHT and Mine Mono Nano Oxaride. That all sounds like uh, cereal ingredients. Mm, this is gonna be good. A pressed human skull. Eh, close enough. Some squid ink. Just a drop. Uh. Mint leaves. Good thing I've got a million of these. And a whole chicken. About time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Yikes! Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Game over. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass. Oh, I feel awful. It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. But up on deck? Holy monkey bladders! It's Monkey Island! Isn't it majestic? Wow, this was well worth $59.95 plus tax. Video game prices haven't really come down, ever. Look, guys! Hey, look! We've made it to Monkey Island! Let us know when you found the governor. We've got an extra chair she can use. Is there anything I can do to get you guys to help me? Uh, excuse me, Guybrush. You're blocking the sun. There's an old Space Ghost Coast to Coast episode. Where Space Ghost wants instructions on being a director. So he has a director come onto the program, but the director only wants to talk about random bullshit that's unrelated to anything. And eventually Space Ghost is just reduced to Help me or leave, Jim. Help me or leave, Jim. And eventually shoots him with his arm cannons and blasts him off the program. I think about that episode a lot. <sighs> anyway, uh, let's get ourselves over to Monkey Island. What do we have? We have the minutes of the PTA meeting. We've got, uh, some t-shirts, but let's use this business card. I'll just burn them all. Skybrush burns his way through a bunch of useless inventory items. And now we have a flaming mass, which we are carrying around in our hands. Our bare hands. So let's get this up. And, uh... Set a fuse. Oops. Wait, wait. It won't do anything if we don't have any gunpowder. And we used our gunpowder in the stew. Let's go get some more gunpowder. I'll take some more. I wonder what happens if... I wouldn't want to set that on fire. No, okay. Dump the gunpowder in the cannon. Light our fuse. I wouldn't want to set that on fire. Uh, light our fuse. And in we go! Oh, 
Welcome to chapter three of four. Thank you. Very helpful. Hi! I'm Herman Toothrot! Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. I believe that is again, Rob Paulson. More to the point, uh, have you seen Treasure Planet? It reminds me a lot of Treasure Planet and thus of Treasure Island. His voice does, I mean. But I think this is a good place to uh, leave off for a bit. I'm going to check into lunch. We will pick this up a bit later. I just saved a game to Monkey Island called Monkey Island because we're on Monkey Island. Okay. So yes, lunch for me. I will see you soon. Farewell for now. Thank you for attending. <laughs>